another crappy day of weather in Chicago. You know, April showers bring May flowers, but you know, you know what they say, April gains bring May gains. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm um get something done today guys you guys are about to see a back work that I back workout that I just filmed and I'll explain a lot of it why I do how I do it and you know just overall an, an average back workout you know something to build thickness something to build width and um, yeah guys get something done today even with this crappy weather you know I want to go hiking one of these days but I can't because it's raining all the time but I'm gonna try and get it done this spring break but uh, yeah, get something done today guys I hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you later so we got two warm sets on back day, and you got five working sets. When it comes to back day, hop on that foam roller, stretch out the back, get your lats, get your lower back, especially for deadlifts. And so on deadlifts, I would start today's my first exercise, go heavier. So about five to six at night really. Deadlift, yeah, to be honest, I go five. I just started doing this, five reps for five sets. Heavy, about a minute's rest. When it comes to deadlifts, hips down, legs down, all the way down. Pull the slack out of the bar, just about four. It takes time to get the form down and just get at it. So, five working sets of five reps. In the gym, guys, it's very important to constantly put yourself and put yourself new strength limits. Even if you fail, I haven't done this for two reps before. I've done it for one. Going for two reps, if I fail, whatever, I'll get back up. It's very important to keep pushing yourself at all times. New strength barriers, break old barriers, if you fell, get back up. So, always constantly striving for more. After you got deadlifts done, moving on to pull ups. About four sets of eight to 12. And when you come to the top, hold it at the top, hold it there for a second, come back down, come back down slowly, about a second down, a second and a half. And four sets, of, four sets of eight to 12. Keep it controlled the whole time. This is working with building a wider back. Next up, third exercise, you got pull down. Let's get a V, get the V bar, put it up top of the table machine, pull it down. When you pull it down, squeeze for a second. Grab the bottom of it so the top is pointing towards you. I mean the K the bar. Grab the bar so the top is pointing towards you. You're grabbing the bottom, coming down, pulling through your elbows. When it comes to back, you pull all through your elbows. Just like when you do hamstrings, you pull through your heels. Back, you pull through your elbows. About four sets of ten. Make sure you go slow, control, at a controlled tempo. Finish here with our lateral pull downs, and we did a we did our our V, v bar pull downs, our pull ups, building that width, deadlifts, build overall back thickness. So now we're gonna finish off cable rolls, single arm cable rolls. We pull it back, hold it for a second, get that squeeze. That's about it, guys. Last exercise, four sets of 12 reps. Hold it, like I said, it's all keep a good momentum, muscle time under tension. All these small things are gonna build a much bigger back, guys. Finish strong. Last exercise. You've been through it all, so now you're here. Last exercise, let's get it done. One small thing I like doing is when I'm doing single arm exercises, I like to usually keep the other hand on the muscle that I'm working with. It really helps that mind muscle connection, it really helps your mind think and focus on that muscle you're working. So that's what I like to do. It helps try it out. Keep the arm on there. And uh, one other thing, like when you're doing the last exercise and you're doing back, you get a pretty nice bicep pump. So roll up the sleeves, last exercise, finish strong.